Hello guys, good day to everybody out there. And once again, you're welcome back to Soft Talk FX Academy. And um, this is your one and only instructor, Mr. Walls. So um I've been, you know, I've been away for a while, but the good thing is I'm back. And this time around, I'm back with a brand new one. I'm back with a brand new strategy. We can actually change your game totally. Uh, this strategy uh, is is called daily highs and lows. Is uh, you you know is, this is just a way of using the daily highs and lows to determine the trend of the market or the direction of the market for the day. So just sit back and relax and pay attention to what I'm about to say. Pay attention, follow me, and if you are coming across this channel for the first time, do well to click the like button, click the follow button do well to you know partake of what everything we have to offer like we have a telegram channel where we drop signals on a daily basis uh where we share our trade analysis and you know everybody wins at the same time you can do well to check the description box in order to join us there so that you can be a part of what we do on a daily basis you can also win along with us so uh uh, I don't want to take much of our time. I just want to go straight into uh, the reason why I'm here today. And like I told you, I'm here with a brand new one, a brand new strategy. Uh, we can actually turn every beginner to an allied trader. It's a very simple strategy, yet consistent, yet effective. And I want you to pay attention to it. It's very simple is what every is what everybody can understand you just have to follow the you know instructions follow the conditions take your trade and exit your trade so like i told you this strategy is called daily eyes and lows this is just a way of using the daily eyes and low to determine the market trend to determine the market direction the market bias and you know to trade this strategy, all you need to know is you, you, you must have a very good understanding of market structure to trade this strategy. You must have a very good understanding of market structure. That's the main thing you need to know about this strategy. Oh, well, if you have an understanding of how to use patterns as well, you can actually combine it together, combine, you know, like I told you, like uh, if you've been following me for a while, uh, you all know that I'm a price action trader with the smart money blend. So if you see me today trading uh, SMC, trading smart money, tomorrow probably uh, 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 tomorrow probably uh, my, <coughs> I've changed my style to price action because I combine the two, I make use of the two, you know, to make a proper judgment of the, of the market. So uh, basically, Daily highs and low is a price action strategy, which is very effective, guys. And I'm going to be showing you examples of how to use it, of how to take trades with it, both on the synthetic market. That is, you know, I trade mostly volatility 75. And I'll be showing you a couple of trades uh, like you can you could have taken on currency market like today i missed a very big sell on gbp usd oh i wasn't looking at gbp usd assuming i saw GB, gbp usd today i would have taken a very good trade on gbp usd today and you know let's get into it so uh basically um okay let, first and foremost to trade this strategy uh you have to enable your session separator uh definitely or uh, let me say let me say majority of people might be hearing session separator for the first time but to make use of session separator if you are making use of trading views on trading view if you are making use of your uh, meta trader four or five you have it there all you just have to do is right click on your chart then you go to properties and you go to properties you see show period separators then you click on it then uh, you see these uh, dotted lines that popped up on my chart that is what is called session separator and what does it simply mean okay all the all the candles in this space let me use my let me use my uh so that you can actually pay 
see it very well. All the candle in this space within this period separator represents a day. This is 15 minutes time frame. Everything, this is all the price action that took place within 24 hours. So after the end of each day, session separator will come up, separate uh, a day from another. So you actually understand the price action that took place within <coughs> the daily candle. And if you are using the four hours time frame, if you are using the four hours time frame, let me go to four hours time frame. This, okay, you can still see my session separate separator. It simply means this uh, four hours candle within this uh, period, this is the price action that took place in a week. The price action that took place in a week, just like you see, just, last week, week 75 was selling vigorously. This is the price action that took place within the week. Four hours can do everything make, uh, uh, if you sum it up, it's going to make a week. So but this strategy, you can actually use it to day trade. You can use it to swing the market, depending on, on how you want to use it. So uh, this uh, video, I'll be making it a part one. Um, this is going to be, I'll be, uh, I'll be focusing on how to this how to day trade with this strategy. That's what I'll be focusing on. How to day trade with this strategy, and then probably by the time I'm dropping uh the part two of it, I'll be focusing on how to swing trade with this same strategy. So now let me just scroll to the back a little so that you can. I want to show you some things, some cool trades you would have taken, assuming you have idea of this strategy. Cool trades you would have taken. Cool trades. Uh, let me just oh, oh, have. Okay, let me go back to Vic seventy five. Where's my Vic seventy five? Let me let me just scroll back to get Vic seventy five any longer. Where is it? Okay, so um, I've scrolled v VIX 75. Uh, I did, this, this is uh, about 17th of June. 17th of June. So now to use this strategy, all you have to do is, okay, this, let, let's say we are starting from here. So all you have to do is uh, you mark the highs and lows of the previous day. So I use this instrument to mark the highs and lows of the previous day, and I'll just mark the high, you know, and extend it to the day we actually want to trade on. So this is the high and the low, you know, you know the lowest point price got to in the previous day and the highest point price got to the next day. That's what you mark. So these are our day one, so day two, all we, all we have to do is, okay, we wait for price to break out of this range. Then that will give us a direction for the day. We wait for price to give us, to break out of this range from the high and low of the previous day. And what did this happen? Price broke out. This is a very juicy move to the upside. If you caught this one, this on a 15 minutes candle to the upside, you are good for the day. You are good for the day. So, Coming to the next day, uh, you are still going to do the same. All right, the high and low of this day, the high and low of this day, then coming to the next day. So when this very particular day where my cursor is, when this day opened, you see price has already created this high, but when this day opened, it refused to break this high. And you see price, that's why I said, you, you must have a very good understanding of market structure. Market structure is very key to trade this strategy. Now, when price opened this very day, this, you know, volatility 75, synthetic uh, opens, and new candle opens around 1 a.m. in the midnight. That's the, 
um, from Nigeria, and that's um, you, I'm working with my timing in Nigeria. So you all know uh, when you, when you have. I think South Africa is one hour ahead of Nigeria, but uh, for our time in Nigeria, this if you look at it, that's around one a.m. That's when another new candle opened. So it has created this. Uh, oh, what are you now saying? Price started creating lower. Uh, lower lower eyes lower low lower highs lower low from here this is where this is where i would have gotten another trade then take my cell take my cell and my target i will target the low of the previous day if you you hope you all know that this is the low of the previous day and since price refused price opened the second the next day it refused to break the high of the previous day then you see price creating lower highs, lower low, lower highs, lower low, I would have gotten this trade from here. Immediately I saw that it has created a lower low. I, I will just wait for the lower high and get it. And this is where my Fibonacci comes in. If I slap on my Fib, if I slap on my Fib, you all know I make it of 62%. See, price came right into the 62% and I would have gotten a very juicy trade from here as well. So, from here, you take your cell, you target the low of the previous day and look at what price exactly did, came right into the low of the previous day. So if you want to take your profit to have gotten your profit here and if you are still holding, you can see price is still going down. So if you still do the same, onto the next day, the high and the low of this day, the high and the low, and look at it, the same thing. This is the low of you know, the law of this particular day, when another new candle opens, look at what happened. It got to the law, like a kind of fake out, bounced back, then eventually broke it. And after it broke it, what do we have? Sales for that day. So one of the major advantages of uh, trading the daily highs and lows, it gives you the direction for the day. You can actually predict the direction, the probable direction for the day. That's why I like to use it a lot. See, immediately price breaks out of this range. What did you see? We have more of sell, 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 sell. So you just keep on repeating the same thing. Very simple. I love the simplicity of this strategy. That's why I love it. The simplicity is, is what I love about this strategy. See, I and low of this particular day, high and low, another breakout from the range and price keeps on going. They keep on doing the same thing, high and low, high and low of the lowest point where price traded to the previous day and the highest point, that's where you mark. What did you see? A breakout, retest, <laughs> and price keeps on going down. Very simple strategy. You can use it on any pair on any pair, just that, you know, me, I trade mostly VIX 75, and that's why I'm doing it on VIX 75. You can use it on almost any pair, any pair. And I'll be doing some back test on, uh, even the currency pairs, I'll do a back test on currency pairs so that you can see the effectiveness of this strategy, guys. You can see the effectiveness of this strategy. So look at this very day. The price action wasn't so good on this very day, but you can still see price keeps on creating lower eyes, lower low, lower eyes, lower low, and price actually returned. That's why I said you must understand market structure to trade this. You see a break to the downside, then price returned. This is a form of mitigation of this point for those that understand uh, the smart money concept. Came back to mitigate this point and what did you see price keeps on dipping price keeps on dipping price keeps on di dipping and okay let me take you to the current market price and show you what is happening at the moment let me take you to the current market price on vix 75 now i told you you mark the high and low of the previous day you extend it into the next day you mark the highs and low then look at the previous day. The previous day created this eye. Then VIX 75 started the next day, broke this eye. But immediately after I broke this eye, what did you see? It started creating lower high, lower low, lower high. Then broke it, broke this low again. And throughout the day, price has been going down. 
it has been going down. So all you just have to do after the close of this very day, you move your this particular tool, you move it forward, you mark the high and low of this day. Then you wait for price action. Then you wait for price action. After marking the highs and low of this day, you wait for price action. Whether price is actually going to bounce from here and start creating higher highs, higher low. If, if, if you start seeing higher highs, higher low, then you know price actually wants to go the other way around. Price wants to go the other way around. So that's how to use uh, this particular strategy. So, and you know, I make use of my Fibonacci tool a lot. In a situation whereby you are seeing higher highs, higher low land like this, and look at this eye, it broke the previous eye. All I'll just do is bring up, bring up my Fibonacci tool, slap it, slap it on it. Then I'm waiting for price to come into my odd zone. You see it? Price returned into my odd zone, my 62, my 70.5, and my 79. That's my odd zone. And look at from there, look at what happened. Look, you would have caught all this by. Just making use of your Fibonacci tool, you would have caught a very juicy move, a very juicy move on, on this buy. So let me still show you another point where you can slap on your Fibonacci tool. This is another point. This is another point. You put your Fibonacci tool. This is a break of structure. You have your break of structure here. You have your break of structure. Then price return to your... 62, 70.5, and 79, you would have caught this move to the upside. You would have caught this move to the upside, guys. So that's how I use it. Uh, let me take you to a uh, currency pair. I won't be taking much of your time on this. It's very simple. It's something everybody should understand. Uh, and if you have any difficulty trading it, you want to ask one or two questions, come to my Telegram channel, send me a direct message and I'll answer you. Any question you have on this strategy, just come to my Telegram channel and I'll answer you. And look at, look at what is happening here. Look at what is happening here. Price is about breaking the, the, the lowest point of the previous day. You, can, you should know that if this happens, week 75 would be giving us more of sales. And this is my little secret, you know, that I trade on our Telegram channel that makes it look, looks as if I know where VIX75 is always going every now and then. If you have VIX75 break the low of the previous day, then you know that probably throughout tomorrow, we are, <laughs> VIX75 will just be going down and down. Or throughout today, only alone, you see that it has been dipping down and it's about to break the low of, the, of yesterday. So I'm already on a sell here. If it breaks the low and gives me lower high, after coming back to create, a, 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 I mean, lower low, after coming back to create lower high, I had more position onto it. I had more position there. So now let me take you to GBP, USD and few other pairs and T. Let me take you to GBP, USD. Let me take you to GBP USD. Okay. This is GBP USD. Look at it. Look at it. The same thing is still happening. Just like I told you, you are going to mark the high, the lowest point of the previous day and the highest point of the previous day. And after marking it, this is the next, this is the day you want to trade in. You just wait for price action within that day and look at it. A breakout from you, you know, you use the previous day as a kind of range, a market range. And when price breaks out of that range, look at the push to the downside on, on GBP USD today. Unfortunately, this day, I wasn't looking at GBP USD. I would have caught this move. This is almost 200 pips move. Let me show you. Let me, okay, the move started from me. After this breakout and the test, this is where I would have jumped on this trade and look at it. This. That's one and one hundred and eighty-three pips move to the downside. One hundred and eighty-three pips move, guys. If you got this trade in a single day, you are good. And this is what this strategy can give you in a single day. Let's still do some markup here. Let's do let's do some markup here, guys. Let's do some markup high and low of the previous day. High and low of the previous day. 
And, you know, at there are times you won't have a trading opportunity. That price won't just give you something good enough to trade on. Price won't give you something good enough to trade on. Look at this particular day. This is the high point, the low point. This is where another new candle opens. When this uh, new candle opens, price couldn't break the high of the previous day. And that's where you know that price wants to go down. If price re refuses to break the high of the previous day, that's where you, you, you know, you start having notions that price is about to go the other way around. And look, what did you see? Price deep down. Let me show you another another one. Let me show you this Euro USD, the same thing. If you are done the, the same thing on Euro USD, this is the high and low. Let me go to 15 minutes time frame. This is the high and low of the previous day. Look at it, high and low of the previous day. High and low of the previous day. And look at the breakout. Just like, you know, GBP USD and Euro USD, they are actually correlated pairs. So they move almost the same way. And look at it, the same thing applies to you that have caught this trade and take it down. This, this should be above 100 pips move as well. Let me let me get the number of pips. If you cut it from here down to this place, that's about 182 pips move. Just using daily highs and lows of the day. Just using the daily highs and lows of the day. So let's scroll to the back and do some back test on this strategy as well. Let's just take some couple of this. Okay, let's take it from here. So this is the I and uh, okay, let me use the the I of this day. This is the I of this very day, and this is the low of this very day. So in fact, this strategy is so simple that you can start trading it immediately. Okay, like today, assuming this is today. You mark the highs and lows of today, then you wait for the next day. So this is the next day that we want to trade in. This is the next day. So when price opened the next day, you see that price created, okay, we have price, create. this is like a kind of break of structure, price broke structure to the upside. And in this kind of situation, this is where I would have used my Fibonacci. Look at my Fibonacci, extend it. And what did you see? Price returned into my odd zone. So if you come on my Telegram channel and you hear me talking about odd zone, this is where I'm getting my odd zone because price has broken structure of, you know, it has broken a structure on the previous day. And what did this after breaking this structure? Price re returned into my Fibonacci levels and price is going up. This is simply how I catch my trades. All those trades I drop for you guys. And, you know, you take it and also make money there. I'm showing you the same secret I play on all this chart i'm showing it to you and so i see no reason why anybody shouldn't be making money with this strategy and look at it so assuming you even missed this particular move all you just do is slap your fibonacci bring it to this move we have a break of structure this is a, your break of structure here then you extend your fibonacci to you know to the move and you wait for price to, to return to your 62 percent that's why you notice I always take three positions. My positions are always on 62%, 70.5% 70, 70 and 79%. See, assuming uh, I, uh, I, I set my buy limit on this trade, that means only one position would have triggered, which is 62%, which is 62%. And I would have caught this juicy move. Let me look at the number of pips this would have given me to this place. That 78 pips to the upside, and which is a blessed move for a particular day. That's a blessed move for a particular day, guys. So please, uh, he, well, I won't compel anybody to use my strategy. Like I told you, I, I trade uh, a combination of SMC and price action. And that's what I've been trading all this while, and it has been working for me. So um, I used to tell some people that when it comes to trading, uh the journey of trading is a lonely one even after your mentor has told you do this and do that you have to you have to discover yourself you have to discover yourself the journey of trading is a is a lonely one you have to discover your own let me say the journey of success you have to discover things yourself you have to unravel things yourself so it's as a result of you know me trying to discover things myself that I was able to come across this strategy and 
man, guys, it has been working like wildfire. It has been working like wildfire for me, guys. It has been working like wildfire. So, like I used to say, if you are not part of this channel, do well to, you know, join this channel because I'll be dropping the part two of this video in no time. So, you don't miss it. The part two is strictly going to be talking about how to swing trade with this simple strategy, how to swing trade with this very simple strategy. So let me do the one last example. Okay, assuming I marked the, this high, I marked this high and this low of this particular day, the high and low of this particular day. Okay, now price open the next day. This is the high of the previous day. And look at the next day. Price couldn't break the high of the previous day. Price couldn't break the high of the previous day. And if you understand SMC, you would have caught a lovely trade even right from top here because this is a kind of, you know, price forming, uh, this is a kind of price breaking structure to the downside and returning to mitigate this point. If you understand SMC, you know that this move to the offside is an institutional move that took all the liquidity up here. And after taking liquid, liquidity, it created a low. And price returned into this institutional candle. And what did you see? Price started dip, dipping down. So you see the way I combine SMC with my price action to make to pass a better judgment of this market. And with my daily highs and lows, and look at it, with my daily highs and lows, price broke this low of the previous day. And after breaking the low of the previous day, what are you saying? price going all the way down all the way down there's no magic about this thing you know there's no magic about this thing you can also do your own personal back test in order to develop a confidence on this strategy and if you don't have any strategy before now you're just jumping from one to another and it seems you are not consistent it seems not to be working why don't you just adopt this very simple style and work on it perfect it and start and you know and take yourself from a beginner trader to an ally trader. Generate your own signals. You don't have to wait for anybody. Generate your own signals. Be patient with the market and you kill this market. So uh, I think I'll be leaving you guys here, you know, to do a back test with this strategy and see what you come up with. So like I told you, if you have any questions to ask, just come to our Telegram channel and send me a DM and I'll answer you as soon as I see your message. So I'll be leaving you for now. See you some other time when I drop uh, the part two of this video on how to swing trade with, the, with daily highs and lows. But if you want to swing trade, it won't be daily highs and lows. It, it will be uh, weekly highs and lows to swing trade. So I'll be showing you how to use it, how to, how to, how, how to use it on a weekly, uh, on a weekly price action or on a weekly, uh, basis how to use it on a weekly basis to determine the direction of the market for a particular week bye for now guys see you some other time later